my name is Sherwin Camacho, and um, I am the lower tenor one section leader uh, for the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus. Uh, I have been with uh, SFGMC for about seven seasons now. Uh, I started in the fall of 2016, which was unfortunately right after 2016 gala. Um, I heard great things. Um, and I, I joined because um, music has always been uh, a part of my life. Uh, I love karaoke. It's it's kind of ingrained in my culture as as a Filipino growing up. Um, and I, I really wanted to use my passion for singing um, back to the community. Um, and I'm a native San Franciscan. I've, I've always heard about San Francisco Gaiman's Chorus, but never really took the time to invest um, going to concerts until about 2015, 2016. And just decided that I really wanted to be a part of this community. My name is uh, Robert Rufo. I'm one of the original members of the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus. I've been around for a long time, since the very beginning. Uh, I'm a lower baritone in the chorus. What has this, you know, what's what's been the Gala Chorus's event meant to you over the years? Uh, well, I've watched this event grow from just a, a small festival in New York City to a, a mega event with hundreds of choruses and thousands of people and choruses from all over the country and beyond. It's an amazing event. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, so there are there are international choruses that join for Gala Festival as well. Uh, I don't know if they're part of Gala, but we do have uh, certainly uh, more and more uh, foreign choruses showing up. They used to be mostly European. Uh, now they're from other places also. Uh, at the 2016, 2016 festival in Denver, we had a, a choir from Beijing, China. Oh, so wow. uh, th this, this is really a, an international event at this point. That's amazing. Um, I mean, what have been some of the standout and life-changing festival memories you've had? Uh, festival in Tampa, Florida, we had uh, Maya Angelou, our poet laureate, uh, give a speech to us that I still remember about make, building bridges to other marginalized communities. It was a very powerful speech. I still remember it. And also some of the places that we've performed in, uh, the beautiful Notre Dame Cathedral in Montreal. And for me, uh, the last gala festival in Denver, we performed at the Air Force Academy in Colorado, an amazingly beautiful place. And it, it was just one of those events that you never thought I would see in my lifetime of, of gay choruses performing at the Air Force Academy. Wow, that's that sounds amazing. What do you want new gala chorus gala singers like me to know about the festival? Oh well, uh, it can be pretty overwhelming when you go there, and, and don't try and see and do everything. But um, <laughs> I would say maybe if you have a specific type of music that you like, if you like uh, classical. Uh, women's music, gospel music, uh, small ensembles. Some choruses do a lot of choreography, some don't do much at all. But uh, maybe try and narrow down to what, what kind of music you like, and because there'll be something there for you. Uh, and what, what do you wish you had known about Gala Festival when you were uh, going for the first time, like I, like I will be? Well, the first one was in uh, 1983 in New York City. The year before that, we had had a, a West Coast Gala Festival. It was all the, the cities on the West Coast. It was an amazing success. It was so much fun. So I already knew that when we, I went to this one in New York City, it would be amazing. And also, uh, the host city has usually got all sorts of Gala-related events going on. If mm -hmm. you're a, a, a hiker, a cyclist, a country western dancer, whatever your interest is, there's probably something going on for you in, in the city during during the Gala Festival. Oh, all sorts of Gala-related events. Yeah, I've never been to Minneapolis, but it's it's definitely something that I'd like to explore too. <laughs> it's a beautiful city. And um, I, I'm sure you will enjoy it. The last time I was there, I remember I was a runner. Uh, years ago, there was a festival in, in Minneapolis in 1986, a long time ago. But mm -hmm. uh, I was a runner at the time, and I, I hooked up with the local running groups, and we could runs all around the lakes there. It, it was amazing. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> and what are you looking forward to about your first scale of festival? Oh, man. I'm, I'm ready to <laughs> hear other choruses sing their hearts out perform on stage and you know kind of give it their all and 
I'd love to hear, you know, how our sister, our brothers and sisters in, in other cities um, just kind of sing and perform, um, you know, being with the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus, being a uh, part of that has just kind of opened me up to how talented our our community is. And I'm just really excited to have fun with, with um, other choruses and, and just meeting lots of great musicians. Mm-hmm.